Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Allworld. So this is a really cool terrain creation plugin which allows you to create brand new worlds which have uh, a lot of ore in them including the trees. Um, and I even saw a tree made out of water somewhere. <laughs> Not sure where that went but uh, looking very very nice and if we go, there's one. If we go over here while it's loading the world you might be able to see, yes look at that, very very cool patterns. So uh, people can go mining and look for ores. So uh, it'd be really awesome to have this as an extra world in your server, just to change it up a little from the normal survival. And I don't know why I'm flying up so high, so fast even. Uh, so it's pretty easy to uh, create a new world. You can also edit a lot of blocks in the config. So we will hop into that after I've shown you how to create it. So uh, you can either use multi-world or multiverse. I prefer multiverse, it's just much easier and less buggy. Um, so we're going to create a new world, we call it uh, All World 2. It's going to be normal and then we want to do hyphen G and the generator is going to be All World. Not sure if capitals matter when you do the generator, but I put them in just to be safe. Um, so um, that's the command you use to create a new world and it will just do it and a message should pop up any second now. There we go, so it's complete. And then we can also do mbtp or world two. And we will spawn and we, we can fly about finding a mass of land. So, um, wish this would load a bit quicker, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. It's not loading very fast at all. There's land, fantastic. Hmm, a bit strange, but yeah. Um, Really liking the idea of this. He's also made another plugin which creates Hoth from Star Wars or Hoth. Can't remember which one it is. But yeah, very, very nice. So let's go into the config now and show you how you can edit things. Uh, so here we are on the bucket page and uh, the developer has left a link to this data values page. So this is very useful for finding all the values of the items you could use in the config file. So um, this plugin works in a slightly different way. You don't actually config it overall, as you see the file is empty. You config it per world. So for example, the world we just created, let's open that up. As you can see, here is all the um, blocks that we used. And up here, you can see you can change it into different things. So as you know, we spawned in a world with water. If you want to um, have no water, you can remove the semicolon. Uh, you might be more familiar with a hashtag in, um, say, Essentials or most other plugins, to be honest. Uh, and if you want to um, have no trees, you can remove that. But I like trees. It looks nice. Lava World, obviously, that would be pretty crazy uh, instead of water. So uh, you could have that as well. And yeah, so if you remove that, um, it will spawn as a lava world. Now, down here, you can have... Um, as many blocks as you want. So, um, what we're going to do is, I've just noted diamonds spelt wrong, is create a new one, add a new block. So, uh, let's go on to the bucket page and choose one. So, I like stained clay, some of my favorite blocks. If I can actually find them, uh, I've never used this website much before. Uh, not for this, anyway. So, um, hmm, can't seem to find it. Let's go with uh, Endstone, why not? So uh, that's ID 121. So write that down, uh, comma, the metadata, which is going to be zero, and the description, which is just end underscore stone, I believe is the correct formatting, and I'm OCD, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, you don't have to do this description. Um, and don't leave the second comma, it says. So yeah, I like that it gives you little hints so you know what it means. And uh, if we go back to the page, it says any lines starting with the semicolon, as I mentioned, will be ignored. So yeah. And here is a very important part. If we wanted the effects to happen um, in the world, we would have to delete the um, everything in the regions folder. So not the whole folder, just everything in here. Delete that and then run your server. And it should 
uh, work with your new edited um, world folder. There is another folder, well file I should say, and that does not contain anything. So it's the LST one that we want to worry about. And obviously edit with Notepad++ is the best option because then it's formatted correctly and there's not everywhere like a Notepad. So yeah, that's the plugin. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and I will be covering some of these plugins soon. I've, <laughs> I've got so many plugins here that I want to cover and people asking, where's this plugin and Echo Pet? People have asked for that for a while. And um, Hub 3, survival, Super Survival Games, Bed Wars. Um, there's probably Sky Wars. Yeah, I've been meaning to do that for such a long time. <clears throat> but I haven't got around to it. And Battlefield, I've wanted to cover this plugin. I think I tried it, but um, I think it was a bit glitchy. So that's why I didn't. Anyway, um, I'll be back tomorrow. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.